Guys, I just came back from the Narrows in Zion National Park, one of the nicest places on the planet. And I want to show you something because I, I was coaching a lot of students and a lot of students were either over retouching their photos from Zion or under retouching them. And so I want to show you what to do and what not to do. Let's get this going. My name is Serge Ramani. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. I'm from the amazing, incredible city from Paris, France. And I make two tutorials a week. So make sure you subscribe. So this is the photo. I shot this using a, a, a tripod. It was very challenging because the water was really like flowing at me. So, you know, I tried different exposure, but I ended up going for at two seconds. I wanted two seconds because I find two seconds make it really nice. So uh, let me reset completely this photo. I'm going to reset the photo. We can start. So this one I'm going to do is I'm going to first, let's do, uh, I'm going to show you what an under retouching is. A lot of people do. They open a shadow, they bring down the highlights, they do a little bit of black, they do a bit of white, you know, they make it a bit brighter, and they're done. That would be complete. That would be completely under retouching the photo. Now, what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna open the shadow all the way and bring down the highlights all the way, and I'm gonna use a lot of local adjustment to make it incredible. First, I'm gonna check my black point, it's good. I'm gonna do the white point, it's okay. Now, one of the things that will influence the photo the most is really the white balance. Now, I, I like when the water is kind of, the water was very cold, so I want the water to be cold and I want the red rocks to be really warm. So let's try if we go to daylight on the white balance. Yes, you see daylight gives me a much more natural, maybe I'm even gonna make it cooler like this. Yes, a little cooler water because the water was very cold, but now we lost all the red rocks, nice colors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a local white balance adjustment, okay? So for that, we are going to go uh, in this here and take a big brush, okay? Big brush. And by the way, if you want to have my latest training on Lightroom, if you really want to master Lightroom composition and camera settings, I have a link below. I'm going to give you a crazy price. Use the code YouTube to get 50% off on this training. It's going to blow your mind. It's, the coupon might only be available just for a few hours. So make sure you try it. It's going to give you 50% on the top of everything. Anyway, so now I'm excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little brush. Okay. Uh, and I'm, by the way, it's the best training I've done in 10 years. It's insane. I'm going to add some magenta and some yellow, maybe a bit of saturation. And I'm just going to brush the rocks here. I'm going to brush the, the rocks and bring back the red in the rocks. Yes, sir. Let's baby boost the flow and density. Yeah, I want this to go strong. Yes, you see now I'm bringing back the colors in the rocks. Let's see here. Maybe even more. Yeah. Yes. A bit more saturation. Look at that. Before, after. So now we got the red rocks back and the cold water, which is really what I wanted. Okay, but that's not all. You think I'm finished? I am not finished. I love using a brush. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna to go to linear gradient and I wanna make a little gradient here because I want people to look inside of the photo. So I'm gonna lower the exposure a little bit. Okay, like that. Ooh, I like that. And then I'm, uh, because, yeah, I want people to focus inside. So what I'm gonna do also is I am going to see, that sky is really bothering me, it's too white. Let's see if we can select the sky and make it a bit darker. Uh, exposure, yeah, look at that. Boom, just slightly darker. Now it's blue. It's less in your face. Um, now I'm going to make another gradient for the very top. I just want to slightly darken the top of the photo. Yes, because I want people to look here inside. Okay, but that's not all. I'm excited. And now I want to bring in some lights here. So I'm going to take a little radial gradient, little, little gradient, and I'm going to go it like this. Boom. And then I'm gonna add just a bit of light here coming in. Okay, coming in like this. Yes, and now maybe add a bit of yellow on the light. Yes, look at that. Before the before the light coming in, ooh. Okay, before the gradient on top, ooh. And before, what is that? Uh, that's the sky. And before the bottom, it's good. Okay, one more thing I wanna do on this one. I wanna take a brush. And I'm going to add just a bit of exposure, just very little, just here on the water, just to make it like stand out a bit more. That's too much. So let's go. Oh, you know why it's too much? Because I made a big mistake. I use the flow and density at 100%. Never do that. So let's do it again. And I'm going to go like this and like this, just a little bit of flow and density. And I just want to make some of the flow, not all of them, but some of them a bit brighter. Look at that before, after. You know, it's like small layer by small layer. So now I'm kind of happy. 
you see, this is where we came from. This is where we are. Now, I'm going to create a virtual copy, and I'm going to show you what a lot of people do. So what they do is they crank up the clarity, and they crank up the vibrance, and sometimes even a bit saturation. And they get something like this, you know, with a bit of texture. And that is way over retouch. So uh, this would be no retouching. This would be uh, over retouching. And this would be normal retouching. Now, if you want to become an award-winning photography like JT, which I coach one-on-one -on -one and got 38 international awards, I freed up a few calls for next week. You can book a call with me and my team. I want to see you work and see if I can make you an award-winning photographer or just get the photo you've always wanted. I'd love to see your work. I hope you learned a thing or two. Go to Zion if you've never been. It's one of the nicest national parks that I've ever been in, in my life. And now, tomorrow, I'm flying to Paris. And let's go to Paris and take a missing photo. Make sure you subscribe. i got so many good videos coming. It's insane.